two years ago on this very same river, I encountered a monster alligator. Over 14 feet long and a thousand pounds. An old battle scarred southern warrior. He was so impressive that I have returned to see if this magnificent beast is still lurking in this river. I am on the hunt for General Lee. I am Manny Puig. I have spent my whole life learning to survive like Tarzan in the most dangerous and primitive wilderness where you can be killed or eaten. I have learned the ways of giant man-eating predators, deadly sharks and reptiles, where every encounter may spell disaster in the savage wild. and we're heading out across Lake George in North Florida to the mouth of the Dead River. We have been here before and now we're back for a special adventure. Here at Lake George. Behind me is the Dead River. Two seasons ago, we found an enormous alligator out here. We named him General Lee because he's a battle scarred southern warrior. Right now, it is hunting season, and the alligators, I believe, are moving their way in here to get away from the hunters. Hunting is not allowed in here, but is allowed out this way. Two years ago, right here in the mouth of the Dead River, we were taping the first episode of Savage Wild when we found a massive alligator built like a tank. I could tell he was a wise old man of the swamps. He could have been 50 years old. And after an amazing encounter, he vanished back into the swamp. So I'm back to pay this old guy a visit, if he's still alive and I can find him again. But the water is cloudy with tannic acid. I need to see underwater where finding him will be impossible. I should be checking back there, but I'm hoping to have a little bit more viz this way. But I might miss uh, some big alligators hiding back there. I'm trying to, I'm checking the water quality right now. From my experience in areas where alligators are being hunted, they're usually out of sight, they're hiding underwater. So I had the advantage in situations like that to find alligators that the hunters can't find because I start looking underwater, finding them in their dens and all that stuff. But I need to have some kind of this. Water's cleared up a little bit. I think we might have five feet max visibility. I can see the bottom right now, but it's only about that deep. So uh, another thing, last time we were here, the water was so low, we couldn't make it this far into the river. So we're actually able to penetrate a little further this time. Up ahead, along the bank, baby alligators are dropping into the water. Look, look at that bank. You see, it's alive with baby alligators. They're just falling into it right now. See them? See, this area is secluded, man. This is where there should be a female around here. That's where her nest was. The den right there. Wow. There might be a den right there. Wait a minute. Look, look I'm looking into the bank. Well, I'm not. I'm telling you, I'm not going to be able to follow much farther with the boat. Is all I'm saying. 
I cannot go much farther with the boat. There's too many trees. It's going to get to a point where we're we're useless in the boat. It's going to have to be you guys. Soon we're too shallow to navigate, even with a trolling motor. But there is also good news. I can see right here where the spring-fed water is meeting the tannic acid water. There's a slight change in coloration and a little bit better visibility right here. I mean, it's a clear line right there. You can see it perfectly. It's starting to get into... Oh, oh look at the bass right there. Yeah, swimming. it's yeah. extremely clear. Yeah, yeah it's very clear. We just, cleared, hit a, we just hit a clear area. Okay, let me, let me get ready. Conditions in this river are constantly changing. Heavy rains have stained the water with tannic acid from the riverbank. Now, finding General Lee in these waters will be a stroke of luck. In this swamp, a giant alligator can hide just a few feet away. Waiting for the right time to lunge at a spray and rip it to pieces. I have returned to Florida's Dead River hoping to find the giant alligator we encountered over two years ago. I named this battle-scarred Southern warrior General Lee. He was probably over 50 years old and a thousand pounds. The absolute king of this northern swamp. But even monsters can disappear in these rivers. After penetrating deep into the Dead River, it's time to suit up and begin the search for General Lee. This river feels so ancient and primitive. Exactly the kind of place I like to explore. Getting a little bit of visibility, but there's a very deep silt in the bottom. That means if we just touch the bottom, it's gonna silt up. Uh, we have a lot of shallow water here, so we need to find an undercut with a deep hole in it, and that's more than likely when an alligator will be hiding. I'm looking right now for gator holes. The gators and that's gonna be just anywhere. In this area specifically, they're gonna be near their holes, and that's what we gotta find. Quite when we, we're gonna have to find a den in here. Quite checks his camera one more time before we slide into the murky river. I motion to Quete not to stir up the bottom. The silt is so fine that just touching it creates swirling clouds of mud. We will need to swim upstream into the current so we can see what we're doing. I find the tracks left by an alligator's tail in the mud. That's an alligator dragging his tail through there. I'm pretty sure that's what it is. Show it to me. It's ticked up in the mud. Let me see up here. A slider turtle makes a fast exit, leaving a cloudy trail behind him. I continue to follow the trail, hoping it leads me to the alligator. Yeah, the trail keeps going. Is there, is there a deep spot over there, Al? I can't tell. No. Looks shallow. Man, 
this is spooky. I'm, I'm waiting for the creature from the Black Lagoon to come exploding out of here. This is crazy. No, it's not deep. Al is right. This is a spooky place below the surface. This tangled nightmare of dead trees and plants seems like the last place anyone would want to explore. But for me, it's fantastic, and I feel completely at home here. Finding General Lee is going to be much more difficult than I thought. This river is surrounded by dense swamps. And even a monster gator the size of General Lee can disappear in this primitive and dangerous place they call the Dead River. And it almost lives up to its name. A horrifying charge by a bull gator almost takes me out. Welcome to the Dead River. I can only guess how this place got its name. One thing is for sure. People have been killed by alligators on the Dead River. And I'm here to find General Lee, a monster alligator I first encountered over two years ago. Will he show himself again in these murky waters? I continue my hunt for General Lee. Along the bank are alligator dens, dugout caves alligators hide in. Go ahead, I kicked it up in there, but there's a gator den in there, but it's a small gator den, it's only about that high. You know, so it's definitely a very small gator in there. But it's a gator den. As I investigate the den, I spot a two-foot alligator hiding way in the back. And I decide to take a closer look. Baby gator, but I had to reach way back in there with a flashlight to find him in the den. Super dark in that hole, because at a few seconds it's where he got all kicked up in there. <sighs> Even so, he's so small, it was very difficult for me. Very difficult. Wow. Nice. Well, we've been looking for gators. We haven't found much. Uh, we found this little guy. He had his den. Even this little guy it was difficult to, to find and catch in here. He dove into his den, it was way back in there. I had to, I needed, without a flashlight, I couldn't have uh, gotten him. So I just brought him over to show him. He's very dark. And the water that he's in is very dark also. This area is very, very dark in here. And uh, yeah, he's he knows his safety. He's sunning up there on the bank. He sees uh, somebody approaching, dives in and goes inside his cave. He's probably about a year old. Uh, just over two feet long. Uh, he feeds on minnows, frogs, insects, just about any critter he can tackle and put down his gullet. Even at this side, look at his mouth is open, ready to snap it and see it. Anything, that finger, oh yeah, he wants it. Yeah, anything, if he gets a hold of my finger, he will crunch on it. Yeah, he's calling, uh, his, uh, the babies make the sound to call their mother. Usually right around this size, they're pretty much on their own though. I'm going to put it back by his den where I found it. Safe, secure. This young alligator is an excellent help and he has an amazing playground and we can keep from being eaten. This is a, a 
little mud turtle. Looks like a snapping turtle, but see the short tail on it? It's actually a mud turtle. He put bites it? out. Look at the mouth on him. Yeah. I'm gonna put him back in. Dead River is a wild and dangerous place, but so far, the only alligator encounter has been a far cry from the massive beast I'm hunting for. So we continue our search for General Lee, the monster of the Dead River. I am searching for the monster of the Dead River a giant alligator we encountered over two years ago. We named this old timer General Lee, a 14 foot, 1000 pounder that must have been 50 years old. But finding him in this murky swamp is difficult and dangerous. We continue moving deeper into the Dead River hoping for a glimpse of General Lee. We could pass right over him and never know it in these conditions. We searched a lot. We've seen a, a few alligators, but we haven't seen any sign of General Lee. Uh, it seems the Dead River is pretty low right now on alligators, or at least they've managed to elude us and man, we look hard for them. This way, right? Here's yeah, a gator trail. trail. Yeah, look, 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 here goes this way. Yep. Yeah, this is a gator trail right here. The water's dirty, but it's just clear enough where I can see the changing uh, color. See all the mud coming up? Yeah. It goes, it goes, wait a minute, it's, it stops here. There's so much vegetation in here. I'm looking all over the place. I'm trying to see if I can see one, spot him out of the water and be able to see where he goes in the first place. This is a tangled nest of vegetation. I mean, this is an, a jungle above water and below water. It's a jungle all over. Yeah, I mean, if I was an alligator, I'd love to be in here. They'll never catch me. You know? The jungle along the bank is so dense. A dinosaur could easily hide completely out of sight. Okay, we just seen about a nine foot alligator out of the water in the bank over there. Uh, Quet and I are gonna do an approach to, to get a, a close video on him. A nine foot alligator is a deadly predator. You don't corner a Bengal tiger and expect to get away with it. That's how much respect I have for the alligator resting on the bank. The whole idea is pick up this trail in the water and follow him to his den or where he stops. And that will we'll get our counter. And quit it, we'll lock in the video on him. I have to be extremely careful. A full charge attack would be hard to stop. I've weaved my way to the maze of water lilies. And finally, there he is, just a few yards in front of us, watching every move we make. This is a nine to 10 foot alligator, not generally. 
but impressive just the same and capable of amazing speed. Feeling cornered, the alligator charges full blast and it slams directly into my chest. He ran into me. A 600 pound missile that luckily decides not to shred me into little pieces. Our adventure on a dead river was fantastic. That alligator that charged me, it hit me so hard, I mean, it was like a freight train. It was coming at me with all his power. Quint and I were blocking his only escape route, so it had to come through me. We searched for General Lee. All the alligators are very elusive. We couldn't find General Lee, but I'm sure he's still out here, and we'll find in another episode. I'll uh, see you next week on Savage Wild.